you know, not real. Hey guys, how are you? Last week I didn't upload anything because my mom was here and my brother and my niece and I haven't seen them since a year ago. Yeah, a while. So instead of being focused on uploading something or really stressed out about editing and stuff like that I decided to put that on the side and enjoy the time with my family because they stay here only for six days which was nothing so a couple of years ago I started to following books and quills which is an amazing booktuber uh, her name is Sana and she's really nice I hope I say your name right please follow her because she's amazing and I think a year ago or a while ago, she uploaded a video about, wait for a second, I have my notes here, career advice for my past self, which is an amazing video because even though I'm not related to uh, books and I'm not an editor or are not related in any way <laughs> to the book world, unfortunately, um, I found that their advices were really handy to have and um, yeah, so I decided to do the same thing and here's my video. By the way, you know, I live really close to a train station, so you will hear stuff, of course, you will hear a lot of stuff and the exits are here, here and here. Dear past self charging for your work and your time it's not something to be embarrassed or afraid of your work and your time worth something don't be nervous or afraid for charging the right amount of your job or your illustrations or for a project i have a little confession to make and it's a, it is that after three years of being a freelance illustrator this year I began to win in confidence in terms of charging the right amount for, of my job. If the client can't pay the amount, it's okay, it's not a problem. But for some reason I thought really guilty when the client, um, I don't know, rejected an invoice or the price of my work. I don't feel guilty or bad anymore, which is super nice. Even though I managed to develop this knowledge about charging the right amount, it will be really, really nice to have this knowledge. Uh, I don't know, like two years ago or something. Remember when you wanted to be a freelance illustrator and you know nothing about charging or to deal with clients who will not pay you or paying taxes or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Prepare yourself for the future. Maybe a document like this one might be good to have on hand sometimes. It's a paper that you can deliver to your clients before you work with them so you can explain them how you work, your deliver system, uh, how you deliver the files or in which format or for example how they they will have to pay you uh, where they have to pay you and stuff like that remember the thing about being embarrassed of charging well it would be nice also if you can charge 50 percent upfront of every project you do this solution will be really handy to have to avoid a couple of clients you will have in the future who will refuse to pay you even though you finish the whole project. Yeah, uh, reality just knocked the door. Oh, oh, um, and remember that time when you were working at that shitty agency and you had the worst time in your life and you decided to quit by email? Yeah, not the best solution, friend? Maybe, just maybe, even though it was the worst, horrible experience you ever had in a working space, in a job, uh, it would be really nice if you could quit in person, like actually standing in front of your boss, because in a way they trusted you to do a certain type of job, regardless if that job was crappy or good or exciting or bad or boring and it made you look really unprofessional and childish oh and please please please, please. pay attention to your german classes at school 
because you were drawing instead of paying attention. And having German as a third language right now, it will be super nice to have right now. Even though you made some terrible, terrible decisions in your working life and in your career life, you have done really good ones. For example, instead of doing your internship at third year of your university, you decided to do it in second year, which was amazing because in third year you were ready to work. And also you took that internship in that newspaper, even though you were terrified at working at that newspaper, you took that opportunity. Also, you managed to finish graphic design, despite you knew illustration was, and still it is, your passion in life and as a career, as a as everything, because you knew it was really good idea to have a backup plan in case everything turned out really bad. And also you worked at an office with people and you had a boss and everything, even though you knew you wanted to be a freelance illustrator and work at your house, it was a really good idea to work in an office first to make sure you really wanted to be a freelance illustrator. And also because you learn how to work with other people and how to deal with tough clients and also how to be a good professional, which all these cases came really handy to have when you started to be an independent illustrator. You really believe in yourself. While a lot of people told you you will starve for being an illustrator and drawing wasn't even a career. So thank you so much for believe in yourself and thank you for keep drawing. Thank you so much for start painting with watercolors because it's freaking amazing. So yeah guys, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoy it and you find this advice is really uh, useful. I will announce the winners of the giveaway next week because I really wanted to take time to read all your comments. I know that like hundreds and hundreds of your comments, but um, I don't know, I feel that it's the good thing to do to read every single comment so please be patient next week i will announce the winners i hope you have an amazing day and i see you later bye oh and this it's because of frozen i finally watched frozen and it's amazing it's amazing <laughs>